الو 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Uh, we discussed uh, CCs a uh, couple of days ago about uh, using the AirQ uh, supraglottic uh, mask uh, to aid intubation in patients. Uh, 26 of the patients uh, were subjected to blind intubation without the aid of the fiber optic. Uh, on the other side, the, uh, the 26 other 26 patients uh, were uh, intubated aided by the fiber optic uh, device. Uh, the end result was uh, a success rate um, was more in the uh, group that uh, used the fiber optic, the success from the second attempt. Meanwhile, the, uh, the first uh, uh, group had a lesser time to introduce the endotracheal tube. Uh, complications of uh, both uh, groups were uh, almost similar to each other. So I had to uh, prepare uh, as a, a, a supervisor, a talk about supraglottic uh, device. Uh, uh, the first uh, slide shows the uh, the King uh, laryngeal uh, tube uh, device, which is made of two cuffs. These two cuffs are inflated by a, a, a one uh, uh, side. You see. This this pilot in, in, in inflates both types of device. It, we we call this retrograde because it's below the level of the uh, larynx. Uh, this is the device which we were discussing about, which is called the air uh, G, uh, the air uh, the Q air uh, laryngeal mask, where we can see the uh, bowl of it and uh, the uh, key lock uh, shape of its. Uh, uh, entrance where we can see the device to uh, prevent the folding of the epiglottis. And we have an, uh, also an auxiliary tube in case uh, there was an obstruction of the main uh, airway. So we have an other side. Uh, and of course, this is, the, this is the, the pilot as we can see. Of course, we have a ram to aid in the uh, intubation where it can elevate the tube so that it will take the direction of the larynx. These are the, the three types of the air Q uh, laryngeal mask. Uh, as, a, as, a, as a matter of fact, I couldn't uh, uh, understand why did, did it, why did it, uh, they, why, why was it called Q? And I tried to call the uh, invade, in, in, invader of this. Uh, uh, device, but he didn't reply. So we have the on the left side the conventional one, the traditional, and on the middle one, the one which we call it the self-pressurized device, where there is communication between the 
uh, as you can see, between the tube and the cuff, where during infla inflation, the air is being emitted to this cuffs where it can increase and increase the seal. You see, so uh, there is much less leak. On the other side, during uh, exhalation, this the air in the cuff is being released, uh, making making the cuff less uh, uh, affected on the mucous membrane of the structure. The one on the right is what we call the uh, the, the 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 type where we have a a, a, a suction a tube where we can use uh, whenever we are suspecting the patient has a full stomach or morbid obese, or uh, he's liable to uh, get uh, problems from uh, vomiting. This is the other slide uh, showing the side view of the uh, air laryngeal mask. And we can see the difference between the two, the two uh, bolts of the, uh, the, and the natural uh, laryngeal mask, which was initiated out uh, constructed by Archie uh, Brain uh, in the early 80s. And this is uh, on the other side, we can see the Q, Q uh, air uh, device where we have the constituents of the uh, uh, what we call the uh, key lock appearance. This, uh, this slide shows on the uh, upper side the what we call the uh, the the Parker Flex tip, tip uh, tube, as you can see, it is tipped at the end, which facilitates the introduction of the uh, laryngeal mask through the supraglottic devices. Uh, we have on the on the on the on this right side also what we have what we call Shikani seeing stylet. It is, a, it is a device which looks like the fiber optic laryngoscope, and we have a a malleable stellet which you can introduce the, uh, the the tube through it and visualize uh, during introduction of the uh, endotracheal tube through the uh, laryngeal uh, supraglottic laryngeal mask. This is the view of what we call the Q or the Q the air Q laryngeal mask. Elbasca Elbasca mask airway, as you can see, it is considered a certain generation where. We, we really cannot uh, 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 know really what's the meaning of the third generation. We could put in our mind that it may be the more, more advanced uh, properties of this device. It, it assures a proper uh, sealing pressure. Sorry, we can, whenever we want to uh, control a patient by ventilation, suppose in an obese patient, we can use this type of uh, Basca airway. And of course, we have a port for a uh, 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 suction from the stomach. This uh, uh, this this device on the, uh, the on the left, of course, is the uh, air uh, Q uh, laryngeal mask. We can see the ram and the uh, key uh, lock appearance uh, at the at the bone. This uh, this uh, this uh, slide illustrates the, uh, uh, the the method where we can uh, rot uh, rotate the laryngeal mask during introduction. Uh, so it will uh, 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 facilitate the, uh, 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 the the observation by using the fiber optic laryngeal scope. It makes the view much uh, better. It makes a, a better uh, grading. These are some hints about the uh, the, 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 the the subject that we have to have a, a, a minimal key, a leak. It's about uh, uh, not less than 40. This is the maximum. Uh, otherwise, this uh, overpressure will, uh, will uh, harm the mucous membrane, can, can cause the sore throat and dysphonia and, and so forth. And we can uh, 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 yield uh, injury of the cranial nerves. And of course, uh, whenever, whenever I want to test this uh, leaking pressure, I uh, just close the expiratory valve and I uh, I pass around three liters uh, per minute, uh, and then I uh, ventilate the patient and then I uh, observe the pressure on the monitor. Uh, a weak insertion of the uh, air cue laryngeal mask, of course, it may be uh, beneficial in uh, very obese uh, patients where. Uh, they have a malabati uh, class of uh, three or uh, or four. Uh, the neck circumferential is more than 40 centimeters. The distance, the suprasternal uh, 
uh, the, the supramental distance is more than six centimeters. There is a defect in the cervical mobility, and uh, we have a receding mandible. We have a beer, a beer patient. Patients. All these are uh, a criteria of uh, having a difficult uh, intubation. Uh, of course, we have contraindication of using this supraglottic uh, uh, airway. Uh, first of all, if the patient has a, ga a gauge uh, reflex where he is uh, liable to vomit, so this uh, is critical. If we have a, a, a disease in the upper airway, the pharynx, of have, we have uh, caustic ingestion, in, 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 in ingestion uh, or also osophageal uh, varices. Uh, all this can liable to call or to cause injury. Of course, if we have a foreign body in the in the pass of the airway, it will be lodged inwards, so uh, it is not useful to use the supraglottic uh, device. Of course, the supraglottic devices were be, was uh, used utilized by novice doctor to 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 try to uh, compare uh, different types, how easy it's the in, uh, introduction of the devices and the use. Of course, many can and. They used a simulator cervical spine injury, a many a, a simulator to assist the best uh, uh, supraglottic device uh, whenever we have injury of the uh, 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 cervical spine. Some some patients, some some uh, some authors uh, claim that this laryngeal mask may obstruct the carotid artery. So whenever they use a gadolinium uh, dye injecting uh, through this uh, cuff. To visualize it through the MRI, uh, they, they notice that the spread of the cuff is away from the uh, uh, obstruction of the uh, carotid uh, artery. Top, of course, we, we, we also assess the supraglottic laryngeal mask. Uh, meanwhile, during uh, co uh, co uh, creating a cricoid pressure, to of course, we, uh, we use it to minimize the leak. And they found uh, that there are uh, different. Uh, a performance of different types of supraglottic uh, devices regarding a cricoid uh, pressure. Also, uh, they used the, the supraglottic during CBR and they uh, measured the uh, uh, oropharyngeal uh, leak pressure, which is the pressure uh, uh, during inflation in uh, during a, a, a compression and during release of the and, and the device to evaluate different types of uh, 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 supraglottic laryngeal mask. They also some also succeeded to remove tumors from the upper uh, airway uh, uh, without the aid of intubation, just to uh, introduce supraglottic device. And the surgeon can introduce the fiber optic on the wrong scope where it can uh, uh, remove the tumor. On the other hand. Uh, there, 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 there was a reported uh, two cases of hemorrhage uh, after tonsillectomy and uh, anesthetist failed to intubate. So whenever he used a supraglottic device and through it, he could succeed to introduce a, a tube to solve this problem. There is an interesting, interesting uh, uh, article about a, a famous uh, uh, singer that wanted to do an operation. Uh, she wanted to do a cholecystectomy. Uh, by the scope, and then she uh, insisted to have a device uh, not not to use. I'm sorry, not to use an endotracheal tube. She, it, of course, she's afraid on her voice. So we use uh, or the also use supraglottic uh, the device during the uh, during the operation to uh, avoid the uh, possibility of injury of the course. Uh, we have a case. We have, uh, of course. And whenever I inflate the cuff of the supraglottic device, I must not increase more than uh, 60 centimeter waters. Of course, there are many devices to measure this pressure. Uh, and, uh, it, 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 and you must, of course, maintain the uh, uh, oropharyngeal leaking pressure between 20s uh, up to 40 and not uh, much increasing uh, this pressure or uh, otherwise we will have, uh, of course, complication, as we said before. We had an, uh, a case of a patient who was, was uh, uh, 50 years uh, old, and he was subjected to anesthesia under supraglottic device, where we used the size three and a half. And uh, as a matter of fact, at the end of the operation, he developed a criteria of laryngeal uh, nerve injury, though they inflated only 15 cc of, uh, of the air. 
Uh, and then, but he, the, uh, uh, fortunately, he uh, recovered within eight, eight months. Of course, we have uh, steps how to remove the air uh, cue uh, over the endotracheal tube uh, by the aid of, the, as we said, the taper of the stylet, which engages into the, we put the, put the stylet and then we turn it for a, a quarter of a circle, which where it engages in the tube so that we can support the, the tube during removal of the laryngeal mask after, of course, deflating the endotracheal tube cuff. Or another, in another way, we can uh, use uh, forceps to stabilize the uh, endotracheal tube during removal of uh, uh, the cuff. This is a, a baby which uh, uh, has uh, what we call the uh, Berry Rubin syndrome. Of course, the criteria of the Berry Rubin syndrome, as we know, hypoglossic mandible and an arched palate and a posterior displacement of the tongue. All these are criteria of difficult intubation. So in, in such circumstances, there was a paper that uh, it suggested what we call two-stage approach. Whenever uh, uh, in where we use the conventional uh, supraglottic device, uh, the simple one uh, manufactured by, uh, by, by a brain, and after the stabilization of anesthesia, we shift it to a, a one of the supraglottic de devices or what we call a, a, a intubating supraglottic device where we introduce the tube throat. And this figures is, uh, is illustrating uh, the process. And we, we of course, we, uh, this, this endotracheal tube was set by the uh, fiber optic uh, tube. Of course, the fiber optic grades are According to Ganzuri, or there is different types of uh, evaluation. We have what we call also Comarch uh, Lehan uh, grade, where we can visualize the uh, or grade the uh, visualization of the view uh, whenever we use the scope uh, from a normal uh, appearing of the lens in the course up to uh, 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 only uh, 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 the appearance of the uh, posterior aspect of the glottis, where uh, intubation uh, becomes uh, very difficult. Of course, during uh, manipulation of the uh, uh, introduction of the supraglottic device, we must uh, manu make maneuvers so that we will succeed. In other words, we can uh, flex the neck, we can uh, put the neck on one side and the other side. All these are maneuvers to succeed. And there are many studies about the uh, oropharyngeal uh, leaking pressure during such situ situation. This is another figure showing what we call the schwartz jumpel syndrome. Also, this is a, a criteria of uh, difficult intubation where there is a myotonic syndrome and musculoskeletal abnormality. The face uh, looks like a mask, and uh, we have a, a short stature, and we have a receding jaw. We have a mac mac micrognathia and a short neck. All these are criteria of difficult intubation where we utilize the use of the uh, supraglottic uh, intubating uh, device where we introduce the tube, uh, whether, of course, blindly or through the fiber optic uh, laryngoscope. These are the different types of what we know about the supraglottic devices. We have the conventional type. We have the flexible type. This flexible type has a long tube uh, so that whenever we want to anesthetize, suppose, a patient uh, during uh, ophthalmic surgery, we are remote off the patient, but of course, uh, this long tube makes the intubation through it very difficult. Of course, this is, as we know, what we call the pro seal. Pro seal means the sealing, proper sealing, and we have a port for ventilation. We have a port for uh, drainage of the gastric uh, elements, and this is also, or uh, this is what we call the uh, supreme, which looks like the uh, aroma, uh, ambu aroma gain, and this is what we call the uh, it looks like the fast track, which has the device which we use to introduce the tube. And this is the special tube, special tube uh, used for the fast track laryngeal mask. And this is the long, the long uh, flexible tube used uh, for uh, in case we want to be remote, remote from the patient. This are also the. This is the why. With we call or the eye gel, which was manufactured by a Pakistani and called Muhammad Nusir in uh, I, I think in Liverpool, and this is the aroma which looks like the supreme. As we say, we can see that what we have uh, uh, the bite block, uh, and we have no aperture in the bars, and uh, this is the ambu. It looks uh, it looks like uh, 
it, it looks like the, the, the Supreme, I'm sorry, looks like the AMBO. And then we have the, the cook gas uh, air uh, Q uh, tube. And then we have what we call the uh, Copra, which looks like a Copra. This device uh, has the advantage of being stabilizing. This part has been stabilizing in the posterior fairing so that it cannot change easily. And then lastly, we have what we call the a stream uh, lined uh, pharyngeal uh, uh, tube where we have a boat shaped uh, uh, appearance. This this part this part of the laryngeal mask is capable to to gain the secretions. Uh, it can collect around 50 cc of secretions to uh, to guard against uh, inspiration. This is the tube which is uh, uh, constructed to be used in the uh, uh, fast track uh, supraglottic device. And this is what we called uh, also uh, the king uh, uh, type, uh, the, uh, one of the supraglottic device. And they have also a Shealy one. This, uh, this device is uh, supported by a, 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 tel a television. This television is being considered as the third generation of uh, uh, the supraglottic device. This is the view of the cord which was affected by the bronchoscopes, and these are the devices uh, disposable which are make of po uh, made of po polyvinyl chloride, not uh, of silicon, uh, uh, to uh, which we call it the ProSeal uh, laryngeal mask. This is a, a video. It will it if it will work in some uh, some apparatus where we can see the how we we introduce the uh, fiber optic uh, through the uh, uh, fiber optic, uh, supraglottic, I'm sorry, uh, device, and how do we uh, correct the position so that we can gain the best position to introduce the endotracheal tube. This is a, a tube, this is a, a, a video that uh, illustrates how, of course, to introduce a tube in a kid. And this is a full, a full uh, video about introducing uh, the laryngeal mask. Uh, a supraglottic device and the endotracheal through it. I want to uh, I want to remind you that whenever I use a tube through the supraglottic device, also you must lubricate the tube and lubricate the supraglottic device. So this video uh, illustrates fully uh, the the how do we use uh, the, uh, the the tube. These are the, the 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 steps of statistics which was used by the CDS the CSI. Uh, I uh, used uh, I, I I I I I observed. Uh, we can see uh, the 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 t test as we know all the, all we know about the t test. The t test, of course, uh, it is was called t t means testing or some or the statisticians used always z or t test. Uh, on the other ha hand, the student test. It, it was uh, uh, substituted uh, instead of the, the the one who invented this T test, which was called Josset uh, William Josset from Ireland, who uh, was asked to compare two types of uh, the yield of two types of barley field. Shair uh, had we took uh, samples of each uh, each uh, each uh, field to compare uh, both of them. Uh, this comparison, we call it uh, t, uh, uh, t analysis, T value. This T value, as you can see on the left, uh, the, 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 the different data of each field can create what we call a normal distribution. If we have a histogram and we put the histograms on each side, of course, we have a mean, which is the standard, and we have increasing on the mean on the right side and decreasing on the left side. So we can draw a, what we call a normal distribution, as we can see. So we have two normal distribution. We can see that the mean are equal between both. So I want to compare the two, two uh, curves which we, with each other. This, uh, this curves, though they are have a, 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 the same mean, but they may have a, a, a defect in their distribution. It can be distributed for a long period than what we are seeing. So uh, uh, the, the end result of this, uh, this test after we gain what we call uh, the T value, this T value is being gained from the standard deviation and the 
knowing the number of the cases, uh, and then uh, 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 subtraction the mean from each uh, data, uh, reaching to what we call uh, the T uh, value. So we go to a special tables. This tables uh, has, of course, two rows, the transverse and uh, uh, the vertical, uh, where we uh, point on what we call the a magic uh, 0.05%. This this percent is uh, is the, the the type that is usually used. What's the meaning of that? This 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 uh, five uh, uh, five over 100 percent means that whenever I repeat this test, suppose I'm going to repeat it 95 percent, we will yield the same results. So. We have two high uh, hypotheses. We have what we call null hypothesis, means that there is no difference statistically difference between the two groups, or as we can see from the uh, lower tracing that there is a difference. Uh, this difference we call it uh, an alternate alternative hypothesis. If if the uh, t value uh, that we gain from compare compare comparison of the two two uh, uh, groups. Is less is less than 0.05 from the magic uh, tables. We can see that we can say that this is being uh, statistically significant. On the other hand, we have we have what we call the chi squared test. Chi is the 22, the 22 uh, 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 letter of the of the Greek alphabet. You see, this is how it's being written. It looks like an X. See. It is uh, made of a, 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 a equation where it's not that difficult. As we can see, is the sum, the sum uh, equals the OI uh, minus EN. EN is the uh, estimated, O is the observed. And on the denominator, we have the expected. What's the meaning of that? Suppose, suppose I have a uh, hundred coins of uh, of a coin, and then I flip. And then I get suppose I, what what do you expect? You expect that fifty of of uh, of the hundred times will be uh, 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 head and the other will be tail. Fifty fifty. This is what we expect. But suppose we get another figure. This another figure. Suppose we have have fifty seventy head and thirty uh, uh, tail. Is this difference? can tell that there is something wrong with the coins or the way I flip. I'm cheating, you see. So whenever I apply this equation, I can reach to a, a figure, this figure uh, from the tables, knowing that uh, what we call the, uh, 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 the, the, the magic, of course, we will never forget the magic oh, 0, 0.05%. And we get that what we call the degree of freedom. Degree of freedom is on the other row. So we 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 got we get our results from the table where we can uh, reach to a conclusion to re reach to a figure and compare this figure with the uh, magic uh, zero o uh, five. If is less, it will be significant. If it is not, it is not significant. And then we have the lastly what we call the ANOVA or analysis of the variance, where we have more more. Uh, groups. Whenever I have more or more than the two groups, I use this what we call ANOVA. As we see, the three groups are uh, illustrated here. And then we get the main, the main means uh, X bar. And we have uh, during the this five steps uh, 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 going to reach to a final, uh, final uh, knowing whether it's uh, whether, whether it is significant or not. And we have what we call uh, the, the X double bar, which is the, uh, the the mean of the all groups, you see? So this is a hint about uh, what we call, or what we discuss about the supraglottic uh, laryngeal mask. Uh, I hope that I gave a hint about all this uh, this uh, uh, subject. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.